Hello YouTube, welcome back. This is the Gaming Llama here, and uh, Gomez decided to sleep in the short time I paused. Like, sometimes I'll record an episode of this, and then I'll like stop recording, and then... Whoa, that's, that's trippy right there. That's... That's some trippy biz. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, I have to like turn it the right way. But like, sometimes I will start recording an episode, and I'll record it. And then the next, like, I'll, I'll wait for the next, like, week to go by before I even record the next episode. Which is why I didn't get an episode out that one, like, last week until on Sunday. I'm sorry about that. I really need to record more often, but nope. I just jumped right into this next episode because I felt like it. Oh, I have to make those connect. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, I just did that because I felt like it. And, um, Gomez slept, so yeah. You know what? You're really gonna hate me for this, but I remember this part two. There, this part also. This isn't part two. This is part like seven, I think. I remember this part also from when uh, I played the game um, originally. But I swear this is going to be the absolute extent of my knowledge, probably. Just trust me when I say that the first time playing through, I didn't get very far. Okay. I've definitely explored a lot more in depth this time, so stop, stop your worrying. Don't be a worry ward. It's not good for you or your health, and you're probably gonna get like gray hair or something way too early, and that's bad. And you don't want to get gray hair too early because no one likes gray hair too early. Gray hair too early is not a good. Let's go through the door and see what's in here. Wait, don't tell me. Is it gonna be a tower? Oh, yes, a giant inside tower that once again makes no sense to physics in any way whatsoever. And I really need to drop physics class and stop being so paranoid about the whole thing. Because impossible architecture is what this game is all about. And I like that because I like impossible objects. They're fun to just. They're fun to just exist. Oh, I have to rotate this. I have to- Oh, I have to rotate all of these. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, um... Hmm, let me think. How do I want to do this? I guess I should just probably rotate them all this way, right? Can I- Can I conceivably- Can I actually make that jump? Is that possible? Is that a possible thing to do? That's not possible, is it? No, I didn't think so. Oh, but, oh, I can climb up the side. Okay, so yeah, I do have to turn those all that way. Let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, I would have been bad if I missed that ledge, because I probably would have fallen and died, and then had to do that again. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, no, don't be like that. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be that guy, ladder. Don't be that guy. And doing things the quick way, because I don't care. I don't care. Making up a song as I play this game for no good reason. Yeah. It's probably just because I ran out of things to say. That's probably why. Like, if I ever start just randomly singing some weird song that doesn't even make sense. Here's a, here's a hint. I probably just made it up and can't think of what to say. And that just sort of goes there. So, deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, deal with it. And another screw thingy. This is... I don't know, do we really need a screw thingy here? I mean, like, that seems like kind of a short distance to go for a screw thingy. I'm just calling it a screw thingy. It has a proper name! It has a proper name that I refuse to address it by because... because I don't even know why. Yay, rotating platform then cube. And, of course, the platform keeps rotating. Why is it like everything else in time stops, but, like, game mechanics keep going? Is that just, like, because more reasons, or... Oh, no. These platforms. These platforms scare me a little. Because they're, like, hyper rotating. Like, they're not just turning. They're actually changing position as they rotate. Oh, my gosh. I got to the top and got to another warp gate. Okay, so I have a feeling that these warp gates are going to be my main method of travel as I move through the game. Ah, that's nice that when it gives those really loud sound bursts that you can hear me. Don't you just love it that, like, I can talk 
over the game and you can hear my commentary? You do. You don't have a choice. Wait, so was that... Okay, so I have to go back to there and go to wherever this is. And uh, the map also makes it look like there's a key door, so... I gotta go to that key door. How did I get there? I need to remember now. Oh, did I go that way? Or... Oh, no, I have to go... Whoop. Uh, and... There was, like a, there was like a cheeky little hidden door around here, wasn't there? It was like... Man, it was only... Wow, it was only a few minutes ago that I found that, and I already forgot about it. And then remembered, which is good. It's good that I remembered. I'm gonna start checking for the hidden key door. Let's see, is it around anywhere here? Anywhere? Oh, oh, wait, wait, there it is. Okay, so I gotta get up there. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's see, is there any angles I can get at? No, okay. I gotta get up this thing, so... Let's, uh, yeah, that's gotta go that way, and then that's gotta go back, and then, uh, I can probably just watch this all from one view, actually. Yep, nope. Yeah, I can just watch this from one view. It just kinda looks better if you watch it from multiple views. Okay, let's go through the key door. Here we go. This is gonna be good. And glitchy grass texture. I don't know. Who cares? Let's go. Ooh, big floaty island thing. Me likey big floaty island thing. Wait, let me guess. You unlocked a million other things on the map. Oh, no? Wait. Hold on. You go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that is... Oh, wait. No. Uh, resume. Resume game. I did not mean to pause. Holy... Whoa, that... That goes really far down. You know, I don't even know if I can click on that. That's how far down that is. Okay, well, apparently we're gonna have to find a way to get that far down, which scares me to think about a little bit. And we have to do it by writing a tiny block to the top. Oh, no, there's gonna be a hole, isn't it? Well, 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 what do we have here? Get it? It's a well. Oh, it's a well, of course. And there's pipes, so uh, let's jump into the well. Uh, do I... Yeah. Do I press control, or... How do I get into the well? Oh, okay. Sure. Mario style with pipes. Ding, ding, ding. Whoa. Retro area, sort of. Oh, yeah. It's a retro area. I can tell because color's an 8-bit. Can I... Can I go in this? Is this safe? Okay, that's not safe to go in. Oh boy, this area worries me a little because I've got no idea what to do. It's a valve. Valves can control water levels. Grab onto a left control, rotate. Oh, okay, so... Oh no, that's not how we want to go. We want to go down. It's not lowering, that concerns me. Lower. Low. Okay, fine, don't lower. Be. Be that way. Jeez. Is, oh no, oh no, uh, evil water. Water didn't kill me in the normal area. I don't get it, I should... I should be able to rotate it a different way, shouldn't I? It only goes that way. Wow, nice. Okay, then we're gonna have to find another way. Oh, no, I did not mean to go up. Actually, that might be good, because then I can reset it. Let's see how that goes. Let's go back down, and hopefully it won't remember that the water level got adjusted. At all! Hopefully. Okay, there, it's back to... Back to where it was, uh... So, let's see. It's a valve. Valves can control water levels. Grab a note, lift control, and rotate left or right. Okay, so... Really? It's not gonna let me... It's not gonna let me turn it the other way. That's... That's annoying. Like, there's a cube there, and you think... You'd think it would let me rotate it down, or whatever, but it doesn't. So basically, it can go one water level up. And that's it. Is there really nothing else I can do in this well? Like, at all? Anything? Anyone? Hello? 
Okay, so there's pretty much nothing I do here. I can do here. Uh, stop it, no. Oh, wow. That water looks very painful to die in. Like, that doesn't seem like fun. Wait, is it lowering over time? Oh, it's lower. I think it's lowering a little bit. I think. I hope it's lowering. What if I jump? Does that help? Nah, that's not helping. Okay, I've got no idea what to do here, but obviously this thing's got a secret. So, uh... I can't get to it, though, so I don't know what to do. And, I mean, there's a cube down there. I can see it. I can... I can see you down there, cube. You're you're there somewhere. Even if that water is incredibly murky. Oh man, that goes deep. Okay, I can't really do anything there, I guess. So, uh... Let's try going in another direction, then. Oh yeah, you can tell that's gonna be retro, because the pipe looks all green. Alright, then let's go down. And, uh, back. To a different place. Yeah. I feel like I wanna figure out how to do that, but... It's just so complicated, you know? It's complicated stuff, man. Like, 2D, 3D, gravitational rotate physics that have to do with water. No, wait, this is not where I want to go. I want to go this way. Okay, and then that goes that way. That goes that way. That goes down. That goes over. Over again down. I feel like the movement mechanics are, like, because they're, they're still, like, relatively simple now, but I feel like they're gonna start getting, like, ridiculously complicated later. Okay, so, um, sort of as a quest log, let's quickly look at the map and decide what to do. I know there's secret areas here, but, um, I feel tempted just to go back to the main area here, because... There's other things to do here, and I don't know if I'm going to explore this section of the world, like this whole first door with two cubes entirely, before I have the chance to, like, before I end up going to the door with four cubes in the beginning. Because I do want to go back there, and I do want to take a look at what's in store in that area, so I guess for now, I'm probably just going to head back to the center area. Of course, via the warp gate, because any other method of travel would take way too long. And by any other method of travel, I mean walking, because that's... It's basically the only choice we have besides, uh, besides warp gate, so... Let's go! Okay, so you press up to enter the warp gate. That's, that's good! You'd think that after going through so many warp gates, I would know that up is what you press to do it, but... Nope, apparently not. Oh no, there's black holes! Ah. Uh, I don't even want a black hole, though. I don't wanna. Jeez. Jeez, black holes, why you gotta be that way? Okay, so let's check for any other possible doors that we haven't found yet. Or haven't looked at. See, that's, that's the thing. I don't see any other doors here. But it's telling me, you know, it's, it's telling me that there's... There's another little, uh, little secret up here. I wanna find that secret. I want, I want to get that secret, you know? Because secrets are good. Usually. You know? I mean, in horror films or something like that, secrets probably aren't good, but... Under normal circumstances, secrets are usually a good thing. Especially in video games, usually. Because Easter eggs and stuff. Or just, you know, stuff in general. Hmm. Okay, well, I really don't see anything here. So, uh... Yeah, I, I don't see any other doors here. I don't see any other doors that have been left unopened. And if I'm just blind and not seeing something, I guess I'm being tired or something like that. But for now, let's open another one of these doors and see what the universe holds. I want to listen to this beautiful, quiet music. Can I open this door? Oh my god, that's like eight cubes I can open that door. Oh, that's such a beautiful noise. Okay, let's get the four cubes. You can't hear that very well, but that is a beautiful sound. Okay, 
I think the only other door besides the 4 cube one is actually the 16 cube one. Which I don't think we can get. Whoa, another elongated... Oh, okay. Let's check the map and see where we are now. Okay, so we're in a completely new area here. Like, this is... This is a new section. Wow, our universe has really expanded since Village. Can we even go back to Village? Oh god, I don't know if we can go back home. Well, we have to travel the universe anyway, so... Might as well make the best of it. Oh, wow, that... I always find that really weird when, like, you go out of a door like this and you think, Oh, it's gonna be a skinny cube thing, and then you do that, and it's like, whoa, what? Oh, no, these doors aren't gonna give us the assist of knowing which ones we've gone through now, are they? Yeah, I didn't think so. What? Can I not... Can I not rotate here? Well, that's very annoying. I do not like that. Can I, like, jump on top of this door? No? Okay, I wanted to see if I can maybe get through that window, but... I don't know if that's, like, an actual door you can get through. Let's see, are these... Are these actual doors? Yeah, no, those aren't actual doors you can get through. Okay, so it looks like in these areas we are prohibited from rotating in any direction whatsoever. So, uh... Yeah. Oh, okay, we're starting on a new cube. I did not know that, but apparently we are, so... Yes, go, yes, yes, forward to adventure, that a god. <laughs> Ooh, there's that owl symbol. I've seen it before on, like, game art and stuff, and... That owl symbol, I don't know what that means, but... Actually, wait, let's go back and take a look at that. Okay. That owl symbol has four little block things under it, and the section of the map I'm in has five area... Dang it. I thought that had four. Okay. Never mind. Let's, uh, let's go through here. Oh, wow, you can actually see, like, the daytime changing in the background. It's just kind of subtle because, uh, you can't, like, you've got the whole background over the background. And that's weird, because, like, you've got, you've got the foreground, which is right here. You've got the midground, which is, like, those vine things. And then you've got the background, which is, like, like, you see those vine things in the background, like, connecting? Yeah, you see them. And then you've got the background, which is the, I guess, stone wall or whatever. And then, like, the background of the background, which is the actual sky. And I just realized we are completely boxed in by the stone stuff, because if I turn around here... Wow, that... I actually don't like that a whole lot. Like, I feel like it would be fine if it was just, like, one of the sides, but nope, all the sides gotta be stone. Whoa, these things don't look like they were built in cube shapes or rotate, rotatiness, rotatinessness. Ooh, is there something under the island? I thought I, wait, I'm gonna die one more time, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I saw something underneath it. That would've been nice if I did, dang. So, what, is there like nothing in this four cube door? Or... Oh no, I, I just skipped past all the other doors because... That's a good idea, yeah. I still can't rotate, can I? No. Can I go into the cauldron? Can, can I... Can I... No? Okay. You know, I would say the cauldron worries me a little, but at the same time, this is Fez, so... I'm gonna let that slide. Was that music always there? Or is that just now there? Oh no, ah, I fell. Okay, I'm not good at stairs. Like, really not good at stairs. Shush. Shush, pap. Uh, okay, in here. And... Is that black hole matter? Yes, that is very much black hole matter. I'm gonna stop walking into that. Can I rotate in here? Can't imagine that I would be able to. It seems kind of dangerous. Did I get everything? Yeah, I... Is that seriously all there is to this section? Four cubes to unlock this. Huh. Okay, I honestly thought that there would be, like, a whole lot more map expansion than a couple of little cubelets, but... Is there, like, something the map isn't showing me? Is it is it possible for the map to not show me everything? I don't know, it's weird, but I feel like this area, the idea is that... The idea of not rotating, because these things... Like, everything here is built flat, and it's obvious because when you turn this way, you know... It's a lot thinner, like, everything is rectangular-based in this, whereas everything else was cube-based. 
which makes me think that the people who live there only saw things from the flat perspective with the doors and stuff. Like in my village, like like in village, except not, sort of. It's complicated. I can't quite go here. Whoa. Does the anti-cube count as something that I need to open the door? Huh. I, oh, I guess the anti-cube does count as a cube. Okay, okay, I got you. I need, I need a few more cubes, though. Let's go through the eight cube door. See what this holds. There's gotta be... Oh, it's just raining. Oh, okay. Interesting. Whoa. Sky. Okay, this area is cool. Like, this area is really cool. Alright then. Um, well, I guess this is a good place to end off. I need to check the map, for, map first, I'm sorry, but I have to check it. Okay, so it looks like there's other potential areas for this, although I think like the four cube door, it doesn't look like these small areas will lead anywhere, because I, I guess small areas led to somewhere like here and here, but like, I guess in general, small areas don't really lead much of anywhere, so okay, so I thought these would be like different worlds or something like that, but it looks like there's the main door with the two cubes, and then there's the two doors we went through with the four and the eight cubes, and those don't really hold anything, per se. They're just sort of... Like, each one of them isn't, like, a big world area, like the first one with the two cubes. Just, like, a smaller area. Alright then. Well, if you liked the video, then be sure to leave a like down there underneath the video box. In case you don't know, it's a little thumbs up. You can click that. It is really good. Helps me out. And um, if you really love the video, then be sure to click the subscribe button down there as well. For those of you who don't know, it's that red button that says subscribe. And uh, if it's gray, you, you can do this magic thing and turn it into a gray subscribed button. Yeah, it's a great thing you can do. And um, yeah. Hope you liked the video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>